Up Radio. Get built from the ground up. Let's go! Celebrity on the radio. Your boy Bobby Flawless in the house, man. Got a special guest on the phone with me tonight. G. Lou, Gangsta Lou. What's up with you, bro? What's poppin', Bobby? Thanks for having me, my dude. It's good. Man, I appreciate it, fam. How was your new year, big bro? Oh, man. We can't complain. Ain't nobody gonna listen, you heard? <laughs> about these days, man. You know how it is. Nah, man. They don't care. Word, word. So, yeah, man. I, I've been checking you out on YouTube, bro. I see you got a whole bunch of uh, new content out, man. Materials I've been following. Man, I've been following you for a minute, man. I'm talking about since the um the Game Over DVD. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, and then i seen the um the Gangsta, what is it, the Gangsta Loot Chronicles. That's supposed to come out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So I've been waiting on that for a long time. All I seen was the trailer. The trailer was so crazy. I said, man, I can't wait to see this, man. And then I seen you again on another video. You was locked up. <laughs> That's the problem right here, man. The nigga can't see out of you, know what I mean? But... I'm, I'm much more humble than I was, bro. I learned a lot of this, bro. I've been gone since so far, so. Oh, word. You know, I mean, some of us, it takes longer to just learn, bro, you know? Yeah, yeah. I just happen to be one of them. You know, they say, God, look out for fools and babies. Well, I ain't no baby, bro. You feel me? Word, word. I'm glad you made it home, man. Like you said, now you focus, because um, also I was seeing, uh, was, was that some old footage of the... Um, you were talking about the record deal you had with Silvio Rona? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, uh, I just came home that time and um, I got the deal in four months. And, um, mm. yeah, everything was going good. And, uh, I'm just quite sure you had some of the shit, though. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to answer whatever questions you, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, man. So, uh, some questions I got, man. So, what was it like, uh, I mean, you know, I'm an '80s baby, and uh, right. What was the music that you was listening to back when? Um, first of all, I need to know how crack destroyed the black the black neighborhoods back then, man. Because you being there when it first hit, seeing it, how bad was it, man? Well, it was real bad. But I wasn't gonna lie to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was just the way that it came. It, it, it was like it fell out the sky. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I remember um, when we used to get caught with it in your pocket, the police used to just take it and throw it in the street because they didn't even know what it was. They didn't even know how to penalize you for it. You know? They didn't even know how to um, make it a law until it hit them, you know, start hitting them homes, you know? Wow. You know what I mean? And, uh... I mean, shit, as far as the black community, it totally destroyed the black community. I can't speak on other communities, but I can truly tell you, man, it, it, it destroyed the black community, bro. It really did. Wow. I mean, I just heard a lot of stories, man, how every time somebody talk about back in the day and when crack hit, they just say, you got to remember when crack hit, it just, it just changed everything and destroyed a lot of people's lives. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 it made a lot of money too. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, shit. Not only was the drug dealers eating, the police was eating too, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm. This shit just had everybody just caught up in one big crossfire. You know? Wow. wow. What kind of music was you listening to back then, too, man? During that time when that was hitting. Right, well, you know, to be honest with you, like, um, rap was kind of different back then, you know what I'm saying? Um, you had Law Finesse, uh... You said Law Finesse? Huh? You said Law Finesse? Yeah, I mean, you know, like, that That was one of, like, my, you know, one of one of the dudes that I, I, I would say I used to rock with, you know what I mean? Right, like, D-I-T-C, yeah. Huh? D-I-T-C. Yeah, 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 um... Who else? Um, Eric B. Rock King. You know, L, L, you know what I mean? Uh, cool G Rock. You know, Cool G Rock is like, you know, one of my yeah. favorites, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, Bismarck, uh, 
who else can I say? Uh, Brand New Beings, uh, KRS-One, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. It was a lot of, it was a lot of good rappers back then. Yeah. You know what I mean? Motherfucking Onyx. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dr. Fetch. You know, you had so many different <laughs> yes, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was, I could, that was the golden era, I, man. You gotta say, that was yeah. the golden era. Yeah, I could go on and on and on, bro. Yeah, I mean, you know? and, um, that was the golden era of hip hop, man. Like, you know, you had, you, you actually had to be nice, you know, to get yeah. the deal done. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You know. yeah. Shout out to all of them, man. You know, they paved the way, man. Those are black rap heroes, you know. You know what I also heard, though, bro, back, back then, like a lot of the rappers dressed like the drug dealers or wanted to, to act like the drug dealers. Is that true? Yeah, man, man, let me tell you something. I'm going to give you a little bit of something, man, you know. Mm-hmm. And I say it all the time, man, you know, that's one of the reasons why Mob Style didn't make it, man. Wow. You know, Mob Style didn't make it because we had already had everything. And for us to be into that, too, <laughs> it would have been real hard for a lot of people to make it that made it. You understand what I'm saying? Right. I mean, for real, for real, like, you know, we was giving rappers cars and giving rappers jewelry and stuff like that just to wear floss for their videos and stuff like that. We didn't care <laughs> nothing about the music, bro. We wasn't rappers. We were street niggas. We just had so much. We was wearing Rolexes and driving Benzes and stuff at 15 years old, so. That's crazy. I mean, yeah, man, drinking Crip style before people knew what it was, man. Where? Yeah, man, That's you know, we got, got pictures of... Huh? That's where all them rappers got it from, man. Yeah, yeah, we got pictures of Darnell holding Crystal, man. And this is Richard Porter, baby brother, man. That's he crazy. holding a bottle of Crystal, man. So, wow. yeah, we, we was truly the trendsetters, bro. I mean, whatever they want to talk about, whether it's cars, jewelry, furs, whatever, man. You know, but... They all they, they paid homage though. Well, you know, I haven't met a rapper yet to say something bad about Mars style, man. That's from the East Coast anyway. Right. West Coast cats, um, I think I seen on Drink Champs, Ice T said something about Mob Style. Somebody else said something about Mob Style too, mentioned Mob Style back in the day. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we was the first ones to start the East and West Coast East, you know? Ah, I forgot about that. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that, and a lot of people forgot too. You know, we started that, you know, and it wasn't even on purpose, man. It was truly, uh, innocent, you know. We didn't know nothing about no Compton. We didn't know nothing about no NWA. We didn't know nothing about none of that stuff. Gang bang and none of that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And, uh, when the song Tone for Pone said, I'm stomping niggas from Compton with one punch, and that was it. Yeah. Shout out to yeah, Tone for man. Yeah, shout out to Tom Capone, AZ, Red Rock, on the Mob Style family. Yeah. You still doing tracks with, um, y'all still cool? You and Tom Capone, y'all still, um, do tracks together and stuff? Y'all gonna do something? Nah, well, I'm just coming home again, you know what I'm saying? But they did a joint with the locks while I was gone, you know? Mm. So, yeah, man, I mean, I think out the, out the way, man, you know? But I see Tone every now and then. I, I seen A a couple of weeks ago and shit at the baby shower, me and him sat down. And he let me know, you know, how he felt about the DVD, that he liked it. And if he liked it, then, you know, that was a lot to me. It just made me feel good to hear him say that because he really don't like nothing unless he liked it, you know? <laughs> yeah, Shout out to AZ, too, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's the big fool, you know? Okay. So how far, how, how, how deep you into that, um, the, uh, the DVD, man? Because you, you got a lot of footage. You got a lot of footage, right, for the, uh... For your documentary Yeah volume 2 is out right now Okay Yeah volume 2 is out right now Volume 1 was been out for like 2 weeks 3 weeks now Right And uh, you know people waiting for me to really get breezy with it I'm gonna do it but it's just <laughs> not time <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about Like that first trailer man, that, I was like yo I can't wait to this yeah. drop man yeah, they want me to get real greedy with it, but I tell you this though, man, you like probably one of the first one. I, you are the first one, and I'm gonna say this too, bro. Word. What I'm gonna tell you is the stuff that I got and the stuff that I want to share, man. 
I don't think there will ever be another story or whatever ever told like this, bro. And I'm not just saying it because it's us, man. I'm telling you facts, man. It's a lot of things that people don't know that they needed to know. A lot of people who didn't get uh, proper due that should get proper due. Like, a lot of people who's not mentioned should be mentioned. It's just so much stuff, man, you know? So that's just my job. My job is to bring back the dead, back to life, man. You know, make sure that the you know we don't forget about the forgotten. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, word. Yeah, cause I know word. I know on that DVD. I mean, I think it was AZ put a DVD out. It was a lot of cats, man, that was spitting on there with y'all. I was like, yo, these cats, these niggas, nasty. I, I think he might have passed away. A cat named Conrad or something. Or Conrad. Yeah, Shiesty Conrad. Yeah, I, if you look on my joint, I got. I got, you know, the no friends, like, you know what I mean? I right. got Shifey Conrad on some stuff. I got Demi God. I got, uh, I got basically the same team, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just started my own thing. But, yeah, you know, they all from the hood. They watch this dude thing. They, 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 they got their own story, you know? Yeah. And, and, and then your flow. And the beats you pick? Man, I'm telling right. you, bro. I'm telling you. I'm waiting on that album too. What's up with that? Hey man, you know what? Hey bro, I'm gonna tell you the honest to God truth, bro. And I ain't flexing right now, bro. I don't really think nobody could really save me, bro. But I just need that bag. See, that bag made me. I talk some <laughs> crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like, you know, Fifty did that strap joint. I don't know if you heard it, but I I snatched that joint and remixed it. You know what I mean? It's on the YouTube. It's on my joint. You know what I'm saying? I, I did that joint in like 15 minutes, bro. Word. No bullshit. No writing, because you said you don't write. Nah, nah, nah. See, that's, that's the thing about me is that's that I don't crazy. need that. See, I, that shit just take time with me, man. I, it, it, just like when I heard that strap joint, as yeah. soon as I heard it, I already knew what I wanted to say. I already knew it, man. It was just there, bro. So that's why it was so easy for me just to do it. Man. Crazy. I wish he had that joint. I, I'm gonna get you that joint, man. Cause I want you to play that joint. Man, play that. I, I mean, I mean, you send it to me. I play it definitely, man. On the, on here, man. Right after. Yeah, the joint, man. man. So we gonna make sure you get that joint, man. That joint is crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't just a little. You know what I mean? A little. You know what I mean? A little like freestyle, but for the money, I tear the city up, bro. I mean, and, and you know, you know, it's crazy because. One of my favorite rappers of all time is Big L. Ha always thought Harlem MCs was the the best to me. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Real talk. Did uh, you, you know uh, Big yeah. L, man? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I already know. Man, that shit hurt man to lose Big L, man. Yeah, yeah. You no, know, that shit really hurt, man. You know these dudes are real guys to me, man. You know, so it hurt me different. Man. Mm. You know, one of the best, man, me, greatest, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, did you know? Um, did you know Dame Dash back in the day, bro? Yeah, I know him back in the days and shit when he used to throw the little uh, he used to throw little parties in this little. It was a school, but in a gym and shit, he used to throw parties and shit in there. And this is when Marshall was popping and shit. I used to go up in there, you know, get my little fan shit on. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, and you know he always show love, though. I can't lie. That's one thing. He always pay homage to uh, Marshall. I, you know, he, I can't front, man. Damn and Dad, yeah, he never done nothing wrong to me, man. He always show love, man. Right. Yeah. As a matter of fact, man, I might just have to reach out to him. Yeah, man. Shout out to Dame Dash. Shout out to know? Dame Dash, man. I get a lot of um, I just get a lot of knowledge and information from him, man. I just I just see genuine realness what he what he, what he yeah. spit out, man. You know? Yeah, man. He's a smart nigga too, man. You know, just, just yo, man. You, yo, man. The streets is just so wicked, man. You know, people just use people like me. You know, just to keep us from getting to people like him or for people like him to get to people like me. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Knowing if this man was to get with me, everything going to be the real and everything is going to be the best. Right. 
Why would you fuck with anybody else, man? Mm. It ain't gonna work, bro. People ain't jacking at the streets, ain't jacking at. Because first of all, without street credibility and jail credibility, you just a regular dude walking around here, man. And it's not on no bragging tip. It's just facts, bro. Right. Now and then, these real young niggas, man, if you ain't really about the shits, man, they not listening to you, man. Mm. True fact. True fact. So it don't matter if it's a movie, if it's a record, or what, man. If you got certain people playing in your movie, and people know these guys on the street, and these guys ain't, and the shit ain't making no sense at the end of the shit, man, it's like a waste of time, and now people is mad at you, man. It's just all fucked up now, when, that, when all reality, you a good nigga, all you do is just try to help, man. You know, DMX, DMX on the, um... The Deaf Poetry said that it, the, the um he had a po- poem about the industry, right? Yeah. And he said the industry, um, real niggas is dying to get in just to find mm-hmm. out they don't fit in. You know, you think you think the industry be blocking like the real cats, real niggas that's trying to get in there. You know what nah, I'm saying? Nah, man. What it is is this, bro. The industry, right? Right. They got dudes. That's in they building, that's around them. That might be from Harlem. That might be from the Bronx. That might know of certain people, right? Mm -hmm. So the label be under the assumption that these dudes could either get these guys that might have the talent that's in their neighborhood or that might be on the radio that's from their neighborhood and be thinking that, look, man, you know, maybe you could get, take us over there and, and we could look. But my nigga, in all reality, these same dudes that's up in their building and all that, them themselves can't even go back to their own neighborhoods, bro. Fact. I'll give you a perfect example, man. It's just like rappers. A lot of these rappers that's from Harlem and, you know, from where it's really, where it's really about the shit that. Right. If they was not real before they became Harlem, or, I mean, rappers, or if they was not real as they was rappers, once they make it and leave out of Harlem, they got to stay out of Harlem, bro. They can't stand on no corners and shit with no whole bunch of jewelry on with no Ferraris and all that. And they wasn't real and they ain't look out for niggas that was fucked up when shit was fucked up. Mm. Wow. So that's the shit I'm trying to show you, bro. That's why the labels is losing. The labels is losing because it's niggas like me who could literally grab them by their hand and walk them through this motherfucker from from one end of the bridge to the other. And wouldn't nothing happen to them, man. But they, they, it's other niggas that's telling them, yo, stay away from the gang. Yo, he bugged out, he crazy on some bullshit. Right, he got a third right, of a right. All this shit was true. I'd have been dead on prison a long time ago, bro. Mm. This is what it is, man. You know, God, man, he's he gonna tolerate your shit. But if you running around here just wasting time, he's gonna get you out of here, man. Fat. That's a fact. Real fact, man. Yeah, because you know, it's like you don't think you don't think uh a lot of the rappers now just said, you know what, they don't want the deal, they're just gonna do the, the technology now is there, they can just go ahead and just do oh, their own thing. Definitely, definitely won't do now, but you know, ain't nothing could outbeat a label because the label the one could distribute your shit. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing it yourself, now you gotta find distribution. You feel what I'm saying? Which in all reality you're gonna wind up getting to a major anyway. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's what happened to most of them. They end up getting, yep, you're right. right. You're right. <laughs> I think the labels is just what happened too. I think the labels is giving so much money up and niggas is one hit of quitters, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's my back it's my back then. Yeah, bro. Yeah, they was getting man, lab- yo, rappers was getting Million dollar deals back in the day, bro. Yeah, nigga might put out twenty songs and got one hit. They mm. got tired of that shit. Wow. Mobstar had a deal, right? Did they have a deal? Yeah, we had a couple. We had a deal with uh, Relativity. I think that was our first deal. Shit. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, we had a we had a we had like two deals, man. Some shit like that, man. And every time we had a, we had a deal with nigga Mad Page from um BLS. I got up to deal one time. I think that was the relativity. Then we messed with some nigga named Winston who got us to deal, I think, through Sony and somebody else. And, you know, shit just always go, you know, 
That's a way, man, when, you know, certain people's in charge, man, you know? Yeah, I'm about to ask you, too. What, what was your position in Mob Style? Did you have, like, a... a uh, Mob Style was just a group. Was it a, a joint venture, like a 50-50, or was it just, a, just the name of the group? With the label? Man, let me tell you something, my nigga. I'm a, I, I can't speak for nothing else but Gangsta Lou, right? Right. And what I will tell you is this, bro. You know, it seemed like every time we got a deal, I went to jail. Man. You know, even if we... Once we got the deal and the deal did a, gave us the budget and we shot a, a, a good video, I went to jail and watched the video from the day room. You did? That's crazy. So, when I come home, I come home to nothing at the time, bro. Mm. You know? And the only reason why I never went crazy because not for nothing in all reality, you know... I can't take nothing from A, man. Everything that was ever did was with his money. But my thing is this. What is Santa Claus without his helpers? Facts. So you, you dig what I'm trying to tell you, bro? Real talk. So that's where I'm at with it, man. You know, Santa Claus wouldn't be Santa Claus if he didn't have his helpers, man. You feel me? And, uh, <clears throat> you know, yeah, man. Yeah, man. So that's where I'm at with this shit, man. You know, um. Nah, man, I, I never really got nothing. I ain't going to say really. I ain't getting nothing out of nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even mad, man, because I always knew I had my own identity, my own style, and my own type of love and respect anyway, man. So so the No Friends movement, the No Friends movement, that's going to be, um, what, a label, everything? That's just the whole production company, entertainment company? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I had fun. That's, that's how I had got to deal with Universal, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Word. Sometimes you gotta do it like that, bro. Just to, you know, you know. Somebody told me one time. He said, "Man, never have partners." <laughs> I was like, "Where is that?" Because it's just two different minds, and people want to do we never, different things. Bro, you know not to touch you off, bar, but we never was partners. As long as A was spending the money, he always felt like it was his whatever. Right. So if you didn't like something, it didn't matter. He spent the money on it; it was his way. No, that's just how it was, bro. Right. You feel me? He just, he just, he, he had asked you to come in. He just wanted you part uh-huh. of. He just wanted you part of the crew. I guess so, bro. He didn't want. I'm. He, what you asking me? How I became part of the crew? Yeah, yeah. My nigga, he started. I never it. wanted. To, I never gave a goddamn about no rap shit. Mm. You know, I, I was a little skinny, hungry, thirsty man, young man trying to just get a dollar, bro. Right. You feel me? And that's all I cared about, my nigga. And when they were going to the studios and all that, I, I was on the block. You know what I mean? By myself. And when they came back from the studio, I was on the block. By myself. Mm. So, you know, it was raining real hard one day. And I was standing out there raining and shit. And they pulled up and jumped out and ran in the house. And I got out the rain and went and jumped in the car. And Whitwap was in the front seat. I jumped in the back. And uh, they had a beat playing. And, um... The beat just kept playing and playing and playing and playing And A stayed in the house for about an hour But when he came out He jumped in the driver's seat and just pulled off And when he looked in the rear view He saw me in the back I'm like, yo, where y'all going? I'm going to the studio Alright, cool, I want to go So I went with them And uh, they had a joint call I play for Keeps And uh, they went in the studio and, I mean in the booth and did their verse And came out, I looked at them I said, man, I could do that uh, they said, nah, man, you know, we already had the joint done. I said, yo, man, I could do it, man. So I went in the booth, and I hit that verse. I stepped out the booth, and they lost his mind. Like, yo, where the fuck you get that from? I'm like, I wrote it. But he was like, you wrote it. Let me see it. And I'm like, let you see what? Let me see what you wrote. And I'm like, I just said what I wrote. He's like, so where is it out on paper? I said, I, I didn't use no paper. Wow. And, you know, that was that, bro. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a gift, bro. I know a couple cats that can do it, but hey, that's a gift, bro. See, that's 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 how I did gangster shit. That's how I did rough. That's how I did rougher. Everything I ever spit on, bro, is just like I just told you. That's and crazy. I'm the only one out the circle that can do that. It, it, it ain't too many that can do that, bro. It ain't too many that can do that. That's a, that's a and gift. I still could do it. I could do it right now at my age, bro. I ain't lying to you. I, I think when it's a gift, man, it never goes away, man. So I, that's why I said I'm waiting on that album, that mixtape or something, bro. <laughs> I'm waiting on that bag, man. As soon as they give me that bag, I, whatever <laughs> I said, I'm going to dedicate it to you. Because 
man. This shit is real shit. I know what the streets want to hear, man. I got it for them. They just got to pay me for it, man. Real talk. Real talk. And, and, and matter of fact, and a book, and a movie. Drop it all at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I want to. Yeah, I want to do the series through like the wire though, because I got so much shit going on that the shit won't never end, bro. Yeah, I mean that. Like I said, man, that that. Um, let me ask you this: Was that um, was that paid in full movie uh, pretty much accurate though? <laughs> From your standpoint, yeah, it, was a, it, it was it was it was it was pretty much accurate, but then it was pretty much lie. Mm. That's why I said what I said on uh, on YouTube when I called it a lie and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And I could say that. You know what I mean? Because I'm there before Paul. I brought Paul around. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So, yeah, man. You know, a lot of shit like, you know, the movie shouldn't even been made without me, bro. Yeah, that's... Because it seemed like you were just dead. You know what I'm saying? From what, from what I've been um, doing research on and everything, man. And your interviews. Nah, <laughs> Yo, my G, like, that's just why I'm doing my shit. I'm waiting on somebody to give me a bag. And when and things, is, when I say what I got to say, brother, I'm about to shake the world with this shit, man. Mm. See, I'm not, I'm not holding back, man, on nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I fear nobody, hold nobody. And he knows that, and everybody knows that. Like, yo, for real, man. I'm a stand-up nigga. I'm going to be a stand-up nigga till the day I leave here. But um, <clears throat> cause look, because uh, uh-huh. um, because when you on on Poe documentary, you was the only one that said, "Yo, fuck that, he shouldn't have did it. I don't care. Fuck that, That's he true. shouldn't have did it." <laughs> That's how I feel. I like, That's damn. just how I feel, man. Because at the end of the day, I brought you around. Wow. This is the shit I got to live with. It may be if I didn't bring you around. Mm. That's what made me mad when they talk about him at the yo, you know, it's just so much shit, man. I'm like, you know, but everything happens for a reason, man. Right. God is great, man. Right. You know? You still here to tell the story, bro. That's the bottom line, man. And my story gonna be the best told, man, because I'm gonna tell the truth. I'm gonna tell what A was scared to tell, man. Yeah, cause you know, cause you know, everybody, uh man, cause the picture they paint of Rich, man, he was just a fly man. He was like the fly nigga, everything, man. Like Nah, but I'm gonna tell you something, bro. I don't even want to cut you off, but A was fly in all of them. Let me tell you something, bro. A was fly in all of them and he didn't even know it. Mm. It take great. a nigga like me to say that, man. Wow. See, that's just why I gotta do my story, man, because the world needs to know, man. He was fly than all of them and he had more money than all of them put together. Wow. Wow. That's facts, bro. That's facts, man. You know, and um <clears throat> I can't wait, man. You gotta drop you gotta drop it, man. <laughs> Somebody give him a bag, man. Yeah, man. I'm waiting on that bag, bro. You been you been on yeah, checking I- out check, checking out some labels? Anybody been hollering at you? I ain't even been back that long, man. I've been gone since 06, bro. I'm just getting back. A lot of people still finding out I'm back. Like, if you go on my, my grand, people are like, damn, I'm glad you're back. Like, you know? I've been gone. So, I would have had this shit done if I didn't get in trouble, bro. Right. Yeah, because you know? I, I like I said, when I, when I seen the trailer, I, it, wow, a long, like years ago, I'm like, man, when is Trump going to drop, man? Where is he at? And I said, he must be locked Yeah, up. man. <laughs> <laughs> I got fucked up, man. I got fucked up, man. But yeah, man, you know, everything happens for a everything reason. Certain for a things reason, that bro. start off bad in the beginning wind up being good in the end, you know? Yeah. Like you said, it seems like you're more focused on everything now, too, bro. You're learning a yeah, lot, still man. learning everything now. So. Yeah, man. People like you, man, you know, to help me, man. You feel me? I appreciate you, man. I really do, man. Like, whatever I can do to help you, man, you know, you got to do is highlight me. You got my number now, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. You know, you just, you just a real G, man. And, um, like I said, I've been following you for years, bro. Ever since the, um, the game over DVD, I said, this cat right here, man. <laughs> he, right. He, 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 he right. spit the real shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Cause I think he was calling out some um, um, game over some some of these rappers how they be lying and stuff. Yeah, they be lying, but <laughs> I, I, I outgrew that man <laughs> because you know why, bro? It ain't fair, man. You know, like man, I gotta let the young be young, man. I gotta let them do what they do, bro. You right. know, all I can do now is just wish them the best, man. You know, 
I, I mean, was, you know, like, I understand point. now that we, we all got pain and we all got stories, man. So God bless all the rappers that's trying to make it, man. Right. Right. You know, and also we give back. It, but, you know, it's also good to hear some game from an OG, too. They take it in and listen and learn from and learn from your mistakes and try not to get caught up the same way and just take it to another level, you know? Right. That's another reason why I put the volume two out to try to give them some kind of like insight on what goes on when you get a deal, what goes on when you try to get a deal. And sometimes shit to just fall, you know what I'm saying? But you just gotta just keep on fighting, bro. Don't stop, don't give up. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. Just don't give yeah, up. Yeah, man. And, and look, hey, G. Luke, another thing, man, I think I, on an interview I was listening to last week, you did with, um, I forgot the um, channel. K Slay? BBC or something. What, K Oh, you talking about, um, yeah, 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 I know you talking about yeah. Jack Frost? Yeah, I can't remember, I can't remember it, but, uh. Jack Frost. It was that Jack, Jack Frost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You talking about this the other day? Yeah, that was the other day. Oh, you did one on K-Slay, too? I need to check that out, man. Because K-Slay yeah, from Harlem, K- too, right? Yeah, I did K-45 last Saturday. Oh, okay. I'm going to definitely check that out, man, and tweet that on uh, on Twitter. Right. Yeah, man, but um, man, I lost my train of thought because... You, um, said you, you said you was listening to Black Four. Yeah, you were, <laughs> yeah, you were saying something, man. I, I just lost the train of thought on it, man. You, you was picking out some game on it, man. On that, oh, on that. It'll come back to you, man. You ain't got to rush, man. I, I'm here for you, bro. I ain't got to <laughs> yeah. I'm, I will wait, man. Oh, 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 here it go. Yeah, what you were saying was, um, you was supposed to be in the, um, American Gangster movie with Denzel, bro. Yeah, we, 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 we all auditioned for, uh, the country boys, and we all passed the audition. They had us on the wall, had our pictures on the wall, and, uh, everything was good, man, you know what I'm saying? Until Denzel flipped on the people about his, uh, his, uh, money for the meeting and shit. And, uh, you know, he walked out and Antoine walked out to him and Antoine and his best friends. And, uh, Universal, I guess they just got rid of Antoine as far as directing the movie, but they kept Denzel for the, for the uh, actor, which just fucked my whole situation up because I was good with Antoine and Bone. I didn't get a chance to get cool with Denzel, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, I heard a lot about him because him and Antoine Fuqua is best friends, you know? Okay. So, yeah, man, but, you know, man, yeah, man, shit, and I had a, so, Sylvia Rome liked it, the music and shit so much that she was telling them, like, yo, you know, let us keep them. Y'all universal movie, we universal music, like, we, we like them, we want to keep them. And right. they didn't want to let it go, so she was like, y'all going back to Village, man. They going back to the block. Don't do that to them. Sure enough, man, she was right, man. We wanted to back on the block. We wanted to back to Cali and they Village, you know? Man. Yeah, I am on the phone with you. Word. Everything happens for a reason, bro, like you said. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Wait, another good thing out that you said you got cool with Bone? Yeah, Bone. That's how I met Antoine Fuqua was through Bone. Right. And um, I and Bone was through uh, the rapper 5 Five Freddy. Shout out to 5 Five Freddy. 5 Five Freddy MTV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 5 Five Freddy. He's from around, he stay around my way and shit. I used to always see him for this car in the garage and shit. And uh, one day he walked up on me and asked me, was I a gangster? And I told him, yeah. And he let me know he had a friend from Cali who played in the movie Training Day who was trying to meet me. I didn't really believe him, but like two weeks later, he walked up on me with the guy Bone. And, you know, that's how everything Bone took from off. the jungle. <laughs> yeah, from the, from the after's talk. Yeah, the jungle. Yeah, that's the big homie. Shout out to Bone. Shout out. Hey, you talk to him lately, man? How's he doing, man? You know? I had talked to him one time, but... You know, it sounded like he had a lot going on and shit, you know, but I was just trying to reach out to him and shit, you know what I'm saying? But and then he told me he was going to come to New York, but then I know that situation happened with shit night running them over and right. shit, so I haven't heard no more from him ever since that shit happened. Because uh, I was locked up when that shit happened to him, so as soon as I got out, I reached out to him, though. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Bone, man. Get well, bro. Yeah, shout out to Bone for real, man. For real, man. I'm glad he's alive, man. Glad he's okay, man. Hey, 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 what about that scene, man, in um, Paid in Full? Was it really like that? The Willie the Willie Burgers, man, where all the hustlers be at and all the bad bitches yep. and shit? 
man. It was super like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, that shit was down on steroids, bro. Mm. You know, that's how serious that hamburger spot was. I don't know how much money they must have made off a of hamburger there, man. <laughs> but it seemed like every day he opened up a new club, bro. Wow. Right. And the, really. and, yeah. And uh, the rooftop, I heard, always heard stories about that, too. Yeah, you know, he owned that, too, on the low. A lot of oh. people thought it was Buck, though, but it was him, man, who really owned the rooftop, man. You know, you got to really know your history to really know your shit, you know? Right. I was a little skinny nigga. I'm always everywhere, so I knew shit. You know, I was places where I didn't have no business being. I'm all up at the Bronx, T Connection. I'm in the Renaissance. I'm in the Love Nest. I'm in I'm 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 places where Harlem niggas would never go, man. I didn't know no better. Wow. Wow. Man, yeah. I mean, it's just that scene, man. It seemed paid in full. That was a true statement. <laughs> The song and everything. Everybody was paid nah, for during those days, man. Everything was true, bro. Everything was true. I can't lie. A lot of things was true. And a lot of things was, you know, fabricated. You know what I mean? Was I'ma say lie. Fuck that. <laughs> Even uh, the Dapper Dan clothes the clothing like the Dapper Dan clothes, man. Man, we started that shit, man. Like, you know, shout out to Dapper Dan too, man. You know, Dapper Dan man. Man, I mean, we used to sit in his house, man, and watch our stuff get made, man. He, he treated us way different than he did anybody else, I guess, because we was the ones who broke that ice, man. Mm. Wow. Wow. Yeah, because, I mean, to this day, man, I think um, Versace, somebody copied his style or something. That's the style of it, man. So y'all was like yeah, the first they... originated kind of guys that created that whole style. Yeah, man. For real, man, we started everything. Man, I ain't even bragging. I'm not lying. I don't think there's nothing that we they can't say we didn't start, man. That's crazy. For real, man. That's crazy, bro. I don't think there's one thing that they can't say we didn't start. Even with the hardcore rap music. We started that. On it uh uh for worldwide or just East Coast? I don't know about worldwide, but I'm gonna say East Coast. Mm. We wasn't talking about what we was talking about, bro. They didn't know nothing about that, bro. Because NWA, NWA came out eighty nine, right? And when the mob style come out? Shit, I can't really say because we did so much shit back to back to back. Mm. But it wasn't that far from the ninety. I tell you that. Right, right. You know, because this happened right after A got shot up. That's when mob style was created. Oh, so once A got shot, he just yeah, said, I'm leaving the streets. He, yeah, he came up with that plan while he must have been in a hospital bed. Mm. You know, I thought he was crazy. <laughs> now, I'm honest, man. I'm dead ass. I remember the day he told Rich and Poe that uh, we was going to start rapping. They laughed at him. I mean, they was holding their stomachs. They was laughing so hard at me and A. But me and A was looking at each other. We were so mad because we knew we had talent. And then when they seen the radio, we on Ralph McDaniel. We now everybody want to be part of. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It happened to me the same way too. But I caught it by accident because I really didn't want to have nothing to do with it. I just knew I could do it. Word. Word. Yeah, bro. A had the plan, man. A A saw he saw something. So A A must have been always been rap. Was he always rapping? Hell no, A can't rap. <laughs> let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something about A. Man. Yeah. A's a man of many things, man. He's like a magician. Mm. You know? That's what I to compare A Z to. He's truly like a magician, bro. Wow. You know what I'm saying? He's one of them people that, you know, some of the shit that you might think might be incredible, he'll pull off. Mm. That's what A is. He's not a rapper, but he's like a magician. And even with the rap shit, you see how he was, how much of a magician he was. He made y'all believe he was the goddamn rapper. Right. But he wasn't a rapper. He was really a street nigga. <laughs> right. And that and that and that's what y'all had over NWA. You know. Yeah, that's what we had over everybody, man. You know, dudes was. And I remember I was with Bismarck at a show. 
I was in his dressing room with him. And uh, KRS-One walked up in there and Biz was holding my album in his hand. And Biz passed the album to KRS-One and he was looking at the album and he looked at Biz, he said, yo man, who the fuck is this? And Biz said, yo, this is my boy Gangsta Lou right here, man, that's this group, man, Marvstar. And he looked at me, he said, yo man, this your album cover? And I said, yeah. And he was like, yo man, your album cover, that shit is crazy. But I didn't, you know, we not looking at it like that. It was just simple to us, but to, you know, rappers and to, you know, they was tripping about the album cover. Everybody, to this day, people trip about the cover. What was the cover? That was what, what was on the cover was again, bro? All AZ's idea, huh? What was on the cover again? That was all AZ's idea, man. Mm. Uh. The man is a genius. He truly is, man. I'm a genius slash magician. Wow. You know? Hey, so you watch, so so basically, uh, y'all been friends since y'all was small. Yeah, when I first got around, hey, I was 15 years old, man. Okay. You know, I think A might got me by a year or two or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. And I think Poe got me like by a year, if I ain't mistaken, some shit like that. But I was the youngest one, though, you feel me? But you, you knew the cat LA, LA too? LA? Yeah, I knew L.A. See, what well, I didn't get a chance to, like, get close to him because he died so fast, man. You know? He died young. Real young, yeah. Yeah, man. He was a baby, man. He died young. I was there that night. He died. He, he was in the rooftop that night. He, oh, he, man. He was, yo, man. Yeah, man. It, it was a sad night that night, man. It was a sad night. Wow. What about tell me about Sugar Hill, man? How y'all? I mean, like Sugar Hill, man. Oh, let's let me. I, I probably need to ask A Z that question because I always heard that the rapper A Z, which is one of my favorites too, and then your boy A Z, they had like a little beef over the name, but you probably don't know nothing about that though. So I don't know. yeah, I, why wouldn't I know nothing about it? I know a lot. <laughs> That's what's up. I, I know A. I think A sued them for that. They had to pay him for that shit. Mm. You know. Yeah, because I tried to talk and everything. Just you know what I'm saying. It's just it ain't no coincidence. Yeah. I just tried to talk to the dude because I just wanted him just to stop saying that he was the real one. Because if you saying you the real one, what is this nigga the fake one? So I, you know, I just wanted to clarify a lot of shit, man. But I'm glad I didn't, man. You know, because he didn't say Vince and Lou. So what the fuck? Man, you know? <laughs> Real tough. Oh my, my business, man. Certain shit, man. That nigga fight their own battles, man. Got to, man, sometimes, man. But he got the money, so there it is, right? Who's some of your rappers, Lou? Who's some of your favorite rappers, uh, man? I probably played with the hardcore rappers, right? Locks. I think I heard you mention Locks one time. Yeah, those are my niggas. I love the Locks to death, see? Matter of fact, Styles P shouted you out on uh, dealing with gangs. Used to use gang, used yeah, to gangs yeah, to yeah, on the yeah, intro. Yeah. Used to push it in yeah, the pinto. Man. man, that was my shit. Word, man, I fucked with them boys hard bodies, but I would never, ever, never, ever, 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 never put nobody in front of the great B.I.G. Ah. Brooklyn. That's ah. what it is, B. Swear to God, B. Yo, I'm in Atlanta in the club, my nigga, DJ, been playing Biggie. Yeah, the man played Biggie back to back to back to back so many times, my eyes just start watering up, and they wouldn't stop, man. Like, wow. That's when I knew right there, man. Biggie had a, his death had a true effect on me, bro. The whole the whole East Coast, man, because you know, and, and I'm from VA. I'm in VA, man. I know you probably been down here, touched down with Virginia I was, Beach. I was in this, I was in VA when I got the call on my phone that he got killed. Wow. Me and Chi Ali was together. We was in Charlottesville. Chi Ali. Yeah, me and Chi Ali oh, was in Charlottesville word. together. Shout out to Chi Ali, man. Damn. Yeah, shout out to T.I. Lee, man, my nigga, man, my little brother, man, you know? Word, wow. me and him was in Charlottesville, Virginia together, man, when we got the call that morning that he died, we jumped right on the highway, man. What do you feel about, about that, that, man? Was that, I mean, man, that East Coast was I don't man. like talking about it, man, because you I know why? It. Bro, it couldn't have been my man, and I couldn't have been rich. Because I'm going to tell you something, bro. I'm, man, I'd probably be in prison right now for the shit I'd have did behind that, bro. Mm. I ain't even going to lie to you. I ain't even going to sugarcoat it, man. It would have been some shit, man. 
I went to his funeral, you know, I rode the limo, me and Stevie J and shit. Stevie and, J, uh, this new bad boy? Yeah, me, Stevie J, my man Ox, his wife, and I forget who else was in the limo with us. And we all, we rode together to Biggie's funeral. And uh, I went up in there and shit, and uh, the locks, they were singing their song, um, you know that we song they did for Biggie? We Always Love You, Papa. Yeah. And uh, it was the baby crying, man. The baby was crying like the baby knew. Uh, I don't know. It had to be his son, man. The CJ, yeah. Yeah. I hate even talking about that shit, man. But anyway, right. so, man, I walked up to my nigga casket. He had on an all-white Versace suit with the all-white hat with all his jewelry on. And I was just looking at Biggie because I just really couldn't believe it was him. So... I just grabbed his arm, man, and just squeezed his arm because I had to make sure he was, it, it was him, man. I was fucked up, bro. Wow. I was fucked up, man. I'm fucked up talking about that shit, man. That shit killed me, man. <sighs> yeah, man. Man, that's crazy. Did you know, um, what about Tupac? Was you a fan of Tupac? Tupac was my little homie, man. You know, I talked about that on the other radio station and on my DVDs, man. Pac was my dude, you know what I'm saying? Whenever he was around or whenever I was around him, you know, I'm older, you know what I'm saying? Pac yeah. was younger, he was a little guy, so, you know, he was just so goddamn hype, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, you would have thought, like, he was like Tone Capone twice, mm. you know? Tone Capone is like that too, but, you know, Tupac is two of Tone Capones, man. I promise you, man. He ain't gonna turn down never. So, that was the shit that, you know, that used to kill me about him, man. You know, he could get into a problem. He could come smart to problem. He'll still be trying to act like he want these. Like, nigga, a nigga just squashed it, bro. Let it go. But that was how Pac was, man. Right. Yeah, you know, plus he was a star too, man. You know, he was in the... No, this was before he was a star. Well, he was was not a star. Huh? Like juice during that time, juice movie about the rumors. Nah, man. Nah, this is be- this is be- be- this is before Usher. Remember when Puff had Usher? Yeah, that was that was back in was that ninety five. All right, then this is what how far back I'm going. Club USA on Forty Sixth Street between Seventh and Eighth Avenue. Me against the world album or something like that kind of. All movie. right. I'm talking about back then Like he had just got that thug life on his stomach Oh yeah that's way back Okay right Wow Okay Wow he, 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 Everywhere he went he showed it He had just he, 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 Yeah he wore jackets with no shirt Just to let, it, let that shit show when he opened his jacket Like Pac was something else man My homeboys from uh, Richmond, Virginia I had them with me one night We went in the bathroom Pac came in the bathroom tripping with me Man, my niggas lost their mind for Virginia when they realized Pac was my homeboy, man. I mean, they they lost their mind, bro. Word. That's crazy, man. That's crazy that, you, that you knew them, that, that, that you actually knew them cats, man. Yo, you know, you want to know how me and Big became tight? Or how? I, w- I, I was in this club called The Tunnel. I used to always get into fights. I heard about The Tunnel. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. And uh, one night I got into a ball with security And they was trying to throw me out And in the midst of them trying to throw me out I looked across And Big was right there And Big looked at me And he was like oh shit So he started taking off his jacket And like gave his jacket to his man Who I found out later on was D-Rock And his man grabbed him and said Man you don't know that nigga and Big, like, snatched away from him. He said, yo, that's my fucking man. And from that point on, Big was my motherfucking man. Wow. Was my mother. Well, I knew him anyway from being with Puff and shit like that. You feel me? But right. that night he showed me that he was ready to go all out with me. I knew right there that that was my nigga. So he used to come to my block and the little C's and the, Lim- and the Lexus. And, you know, fuck with me, ask me where the bitches is. You know, Harlem, you know, outside of town. <laughs> So that's why to this day I still show C's love. I see them in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah, him and uh C Butters, my nigga. I was locked up with C Butter. I always show them niggas love, man. They yeah, always C. show Gutters me love. Yeah, C Butters got out too, not too long ago, right? 
I can't wait to see him, man, because when Big was alive, man, I fucked with all of them at the same time, man. Wow, man. And that's the hip hop, man. You know, like the, like the, you know, the, the beefing, man, like uncalled for, unnecessary, you know, what's going on now. What you feel about the game right now, man? About which game? The rap game? Yeah, the music game. Well, in the industry, basically, rap game. Well, New York is fucked up as far as the rap games concerned. It seems like the South got that shit in the frenzy, you know? Who, 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 who do you <laughs> think destroyed that? The DJs? Or? Where, here? Yeah, in New York, because New York was the Mecca. Always the Mecca. Virginia loved man, New York, you know what I'm saying? Nah, man, not the DJs. I would just say, man, the, 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 whoever was picking the music, man, and the artists, man. Like, yo, man, man, if I would have just stayed with Sylvia along with him, I had an A&R job, bro. I would have bought them nothing but hits right. with him, man. Right. Is Sylvia Rome still doing her thing? Is she still doing her thing? Yeah, man, I wish I could reach out to her, man, you know what I mean? And just give her a hug and tell her, man, you know, I appreciate her so much, man, because... You know, bro, she the only one that really gave me a shot, bro. You know what I mean? Really tried to save my life, bro. I can reach out to her on social media though you know she probably remember so. I don't even know how to do all that shit that's why I got people who run my brand and <laughs> run all the shit but you feel me but that's how I got to you you know I, they call me and let me know I say yeah man I'll do it you know what I mean it's all good yeah bro. I reached out to you on the email I said man I gotta talk to Gangsta Lou I had just finished listening to the interview man I said I gotta talk to Lou man so you the one that do booms in New York and all that no, nah, that's the um, that's um, uh, uh, inf- info minds. Okay, info yeah, minds. I so definitely want to see you on that too. too. I want to, yeah, you definitely got to get on that too, cause that's dope too. <laughs> yeah. I like to see you on that. You do all the gangster stuff. Yeah, they reached out to me on that too, bro. So yeah, I'm uh, yeah. holler at them, and then whatever you, whatever you need me to do, bro, you can yeah, always man. holler at me, bro. Cause I'm just, you know, my site was more um, celebrity underrated. I just I just try to reach out to the celebrities that I felt was underrated, man. You know, and a lot of the and a lot of the artists I do, it's just the, it's a lot of the deaths of, of them and everything. But I'm doing a podcast, and you and you like the first um, guess man, I really appreciate it, bro. I really oh really yeah, oh yours is the podcast. Yeah, but I, I do video I do videos on um people that died, like say like um. Uh, PM Don, everybody deaf, Big E, Tupac. I just do documentaries on them. But now I'm starting a podcast show, and I just said, let me, I want to reach out to G Lou and the people like that I've been following, and AZ, everybody, because I read AZ book, you know what I'm saying, when it right. first came out. And I was like, right. I hope G Lou, I said, I hope G Lou got a book, man. You know what I'm saying? I got a book, I got everything, bro. I'm just waiting for a bag. <laughs> you ain't know that bag. <laughs> I'm waiting on that bag, man. That's all, bro. Oh man, clothing line and everything, right? Oh man, I got, I, man, I got a dictionary. I got everything, man. Word. The next thing is gonna be okay. I already know it's, it's about to happen, man. man. This this show year, 2019, you know, and uh, with me on my platform, I got like a, a lot of uh, subscribers. So hopefully, man, this a, you know, a, a, a get you some recognition and. and, and Get you to where you need to go, man. This just the start for you, man. I see big things. Man. Oh man, I appreciate you, man. I love you for that, man. Thank you so much, bro. Big things Still, is about man. to happen, bro. Like you said, what and what's going and what's going to pop for you is the ri- p- people love pay and full, bro. I know, and they love you too from the game over jump. Like I said, I said, man, I need to talk to G. Lou because he right. was there. Right, he was right. there and he was part of Mob Style. Tone Capone too, Whip Wop and AZ. Right. So right. Right. Uh, people right. people really want to hear your story, bro. They really want to hear your I story. I know. Bro. I know. I'm going to give it to them, but they got to give me that back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, hey, hey, bro. Real I ain't talk. lying, bro. If the man 50 would just listen to me, bro, and stop it, man. Just get in touch with the gangster, bro. I'm a nigga. I'm telling him, my nigga, I already know, because he's the only nigga that's really going to understand me, bro. These other guys ain't going to let me be me. They're going to try to make me change, want me to talk different. I don't know how to do none of that stuff. All I know how to do is be me, bro. And I think 50 the only one are puff, man. Them certain niggas would probably just let me be me because they understand me, man. That's why I think you should just um, just do your independent thing, no friends, man, and build from there. 
Cause I think um, That way Can nobody tell you nothing You do whatever you want That's right bro I got some I'm beats so for you too man you, Yeah huh? I, I got some beats for you I make beats and stuff too man So Oh what? Yeah Hey I just Let appreciate you, you doing on your I just appreciate you doing Doing this for me man and, and I just hope you just Get to the top man That's the, That's the name of the game Thank you, bro. I wish you the best too, bro. And I'm here for you, man. If you ever need me, man, I'm here, man. No friends, man. Family only. Yeah, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Hey, it's 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 going to the top, man. 2019, man. You back home? We gonna make it happen, and ain't no stopping. You already know, fam. Hey, celebrity on the radio. It's your boy Bobby Flawless, man. I'm here with my boy G Lou, man. We gonna stay in contact, man. And um. Definitely, man, for the future. Hey, matter of fact, man, let the people know before you go, man, what you got going on, and, and can he reach you anything, uh, any, any oh. way they can reach you and everything? Oh, yeah, man, I'm on Gangsta Lou 145 Instagram. I got the Gangsta Chronicles 1, Volume 1, Gangsta Chronicles 2. Um, Gangsta, both of them out right now, and then I got the original Gangsta Lou story from one Gangsta to another. That's just a spinoff from Pay to Full. And uh, yo, Bobby, I would like to thank you so much, my nigga, for giving me a chance to, uh, you know, get on this on your platform and, and yeah, express, you know, what I got going on and, and give love to the people that I got love for. And uh, I got love for you, bro. If you ever need me, my nigga, I'm here, man. And thanks a lot, man. I truly do appreciate you, man. No yeah. doubt, man. It's all about the, it's all about letting the real nigga shine, man. Let the real nigga shine, man. Get get to it, man. You know. So thank you, bro. That's a, that's a boomerang, you heard. Word, that's what it is. Celebrity on the radar, man. Your boy Bobby Flawless Gangsta hey, Lou, man. Hey, hey, right. hey, hey. Ground up radio. Get built from the ground up. Let's go!